Well, this is how a dot product between vectors works. Here I've got two general vectors, a and b. Vector a has magnitude lowercase a. Vector b has magnitude lowercase b. So I've oriented these vectors so that they're tail to tail, and the angle between them I will call theta. The dot product, a dot b, is defined as the magnitude of a times the magnitude of b times the cosine of the angle between them. It turns out that this dot product operation is commutative. It doesn't matter if you do a dot b or b dot a, they give you the same result. There's kind of a neat interpretation of the dot product geometrically, and it can be thought of as the overlap between the two vectors. If you project one vector onto the other vector, in other words, if you take the component of one vector in the direction of the other and multiply that by the other vector, that will give you the dot product. Here, if we drop a perpendicular from vector a down to vector b, then the length of that projection is a cosine theta. You multiply that by b, you get the dot product ab cosine theta. So the dot product is showing us how much the two vectors are cooperating. Since the dot product is commutative, we can do the converse operation as well, dropping a perpendicular from b onto a. This projection tells us the component of b in the direction of a. It has a length of b cosine theta. Multiply that by the vector a, and again, we get the dot product ab cosine theta, the overlap between vectors a and b. So here's some properties of dot products that it's good to keep in mind so that we can quickly understand how vectors interact, specifically how force and displacement vectors interact to give us the work. First thing is that if the angle theta between the vectors is less than 90 degrees, that means they're pointing mostly in the same direction and will have a positive dot product. If the first vector is shown in the direction of that blue arrow, any vector within that blue semicircle will give a positive dot product. It's negative if the angle between the vectors is greater than 90 degrees. That means that for the most part the vectors are pointing away from each other. They're pointing in opposing directions. So anything in that red semicircle would give a negative dot product with the blue arrow. If the vectors are perpendicular to each other, there is no overlap between them. Projection of one onto the other gives a length of zero. In that case, the dot product is zero. The dot product has its greatest absolute value if the two vectors are parallel or anti-parallel. If they're parallel, then the dot product is just the product of their two magnitudes. If they're anti-parallel, then the dot product is just the negative of the product of their two magnitudes.